Here's a way how you can install uh, Frontlix Test Suite on your Linux PC. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu uh, and uh, Ubuntu Software Center has a Frontlix Test Suite, test suite in it, but I personally couldn't uh, install it and run it properly, so I can't recommend the software that I myself can't run. So I'm gonna show you a way how I did it and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Okay. First we need to go to, and I'm gonna uh, show you the basic comments how to use Fronix Test Suite as well. Test Suite. First we need to go to Fronix uh, Test Suite, test suite uh, website. I'll link everything in the description below. And let's download the generic package. Let's save it. Desktop and save. And I'm gonna link the in-depth manual of Fronix Test Suite that provides much more comments that I will show you in this video and uh, this as well so we don't okay I'm gonna link everything in the description below and and hopefully if you are interested you will take a look at them so we don't need this let's close this and uh, let's start our uh, let's run our front extension first we need to extract it delete this we don't need this anymore and as you can see there are two files that you should uh, take a good look at it if you install sh it will install uh, Fronix on your system Fronix test suite if you run this uh, you will run Fronix test suite without installing it on your system I'm gonna show you the both ways how you can use them uh, uh, basically the both ways are the same but in one way you just install Fronix uh, test suite on your PC and uh, in other way uh, you don't install it and just run it because I like to just run it because I don't like to install uh, files or on my system I'm gonna first show you how you can just run it without installing it and I'm then I'm gonna show you how you should install you how you can install the Fronix test suite on your system well let's start the terminal and uh, let's just drag and drop this file here and press enter it told us that it's missing some dependency files let's copy this type sudo and uh, paste it here and enter enter our password and let's wait yes and it will start the download and install our missing library files Okay, uh, and I will, as, as I told you, I'm going to show you the basic comments uh, to use from next test. First, okay, let's start this and uh, let's press enter. And uh, we'll uh, this, this way, we'll check that if from next test suit can run properly or not. Just okay, uh, let's agree to the uh, license agreement they are telling us yes and if you want to share your statistic or not with Fronix is up to you I don't want to share it right now no okay it told us that yeah it starts fabulous and let's again drag and drop this here and now let's add comments to basic comments to this uh, if we run this it gonna show us all the installed suits suits are the uh, uh, a few tests running together to give the best result for example it will be a suit for graphics system audio etc a test is one specific uh, test that will run for example run half-life benchmark it will run only half my half-life benchmark and give you the test results for that so suit is multiple test running and suit is uh, and suit is multiple benchmarks running and test is only one benchmark running. Okay, install is to be, uh, uh, install is to install the, the benchmark that we don't have installed. The benchmark is to benchmark and start a benchmark that we want to run. And uh, with this, it will uh, check online the available tests or available suits that we can download and uh, tell us about them. So we're gonna run this. I'm interested in the all the available tests available online. Okay, let's 
case and press enter and it's gonna tell us say available uh, tests online okay as you can see it told us also for all the it showed all the available tests that we can download but uh, uh, keep in mind that some of these tests might not uh, run if you encounter uh, such a test please notify the uh, Phronix uh, team on the go to their website and tell them on forums or somehow that this test doesn't run. Okay, for example, now we need to, because we, as, as you might know, we just installed Phronix, we don't have any tests or suits installed on it, so let's install, for example, this. Uh, okay, let's install it. And how do we do it? You just Phronix test you, drag and drop here. Let's add install and let's copy this and paste it here and as you can see it will start the down. Okay, it will might take some time and uh, uh, as you can see it's downloading and it will download everything in this directory. It doesn't matter if you run it from here or if you install it and run it from terminal as, as, as the way I'm gonna show you soon it's gonna download everything in uh, in the uh, Phronix test suite hidden uh, folder to show hidden uh, files and folders you gonna press view and press show hidden files and uh, scroll down and you can see Phronix test suite and as you can see it downloads everything here uh, and it doesn't matter if you have it installed or not. So as I'm gonna pause it and come back after the uh, after the shoot has actually completed running. As you can see, it finished uh, installing our test. And now, if we uh, run the, uh, to if we ask uh, Phronix to show us all the installed all the tests. It's gonna show us this one test, so let's do this again. Now this Ronix, and let's paste it here. Press enter, and it's gonna show us the installed uh, whatever we installed just now. Remember, it was X264, and this was it. And yes, you can see it tells us that this test is installed. And if we want to run it, we're gonna do this. Uh, this and we're gonna add benchmark to it benchmark and then the name of our test and uh, we're gonna press, press enter here it's gonna start the it's gonna start the uh, it's gonna start the it's gonna ask us if you want to save it let's save it uh, let's call this is the important thing it you need to type in the name otherwise it won't progress and if here you if you don't want to type anything you press enter and here enter again and as you can see it started the test and uh, I'm gonna skip it or pause it and come back after the test is actually complete okay as you can see it actually finished uh, benchmarking our uh, system and we can run we view it online not online it will start the web browser and show us the results let's start it y and enter and it will start the web browser and uh, tell us uh, about our uh, test results okay well, i'm very happy with them and uh it shares them i don't want to share them and add. as you can see this is as complex as you it gets and if you want to if you want to uh, see your test results uh, you'll go to your home uh, show hidden folders from this test suite uh, test results uh, your name and open this and it will show you your test results okay great uh, well, okay, great. Well, you know, these are other uh, are self explanatory, I think. And I'm gonna show you how you can install it, but I don't recommend you installing Phronix test shoes on your system. 
uh, but this is how if you would want to install from next institute you would uh, do it okay and if, if if you don't want if you wouldn't install front next your front next test you send you would uh, wouldn't want uh, some tests anymore you would do this you would uh, run this front next front next test you uh, then uh, remove available test remove uh, remove where is it remove installed test and uh, we know that we have uh, x264 installed so let's do this and it will remove our x264 test uh, but if you don't want to if you want to just install remove uh, everything from the every phronix test you can just uh, remove this folder and the phronix will disappear as a test will result will disappear, disappear as every uh, in installed uh, or test or shoot will disappear will not get uh, removed so if you are fed up with phronix you can just shift delete this and it will disappear so yeah okay no or yes no i don't understand i'm gonna show you how you if you want to install it how what you should do let's delete this okay great and let's install it this is how the installation would work you would uh, extract from x test suit again and run sh right it would tell you that okay from x you need to run from x test suit in this uh in this in this folder so copy it copy it go to home press create new new folder type Phronix test suite and uh, put a stop in front of it and enter and if you refresh it you can see that it disappeared why because if you go control h or show the hidden folders it became a hidden uh, folder so do this now press cd space and Phronix test suite press enter here great open Phronix test suite and whatever you have here copy it and throw them in here or cut it whatever you want we can delete this now we don't need them we are installing this shit and uh, let's run this we type sudo, sudo and uh, let's install it press enter your administrator password and uh, okay your administrator password and uh, let's run it oh, let's install it it will install it and uh, the the only difference there will be the commands will be the same so you will be running the same but but you won't need to drag and drop this anymore you'll just uh, type this in it phronix test suit this is what you'll that's the only difference between installing it and uh, installing it and uh, and running through uh, this executable file okay and as you can see if you type uh, or and press tab it would auto complete let's uh, search for available uh, every list how do we go to the command list oh, okay list why didn't it auto complete please now uh, let's start it for the first time and see if it needs to uh, uh, see if we need to uh, agree for it the license agreement yes and uh, no here okay let's do it so tab it will auto complete please so it's okay why doesn't it auto complete please okay let's type manually if it doesn't want to auto complete list tests and remember the test shouldn't appear because we deleted all the tests list test and it told us that yes there aren't any tests left. and if you would be interested you would run it on install x264 and it's really everything is the same here just the difference is that you don't need to drag and drop that file uh, file into 
uh, you don't need to drag and drop set file into terminal you just can write from the extension and uh, that's the difference okay, so well uh, hope this information was helpful i will sh uh, link in the description how you should how you can uninstall the front test suite if you have it installed i'll link that in the description because it's a bad way to do that so hope this was helpful if you like it comment or like and subscribe and uh, tell me if i needed to uh, add some more information to this well thank you again hope it was helpful best of luck